All right, this is Leroy D. So I'm going to show you guys how to put a turbo boost bolt on the center mount turbos in the Hummers. And uh, let's get started. Right now, I've uh, I've actually taken all six bolts out of the crossover. You can do that. You don't have to take the doghouse off from the inside, but it sure is a lot easier. But again, it's not required. You can just kind of reach around and do that. Um, so I've got them loose. I didn't want to bore you with the details on that. So you just basically pick it up and bring it out or just set it to the side. I'm just going to set this one to the side. The next step that you're going to do is pick a hole. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to take this one since it's closer to the driver's side and we've still got to run a nylon hose, one of the hose kits. Uh, but I'm going to drill a hole right here. Let me get that set up and I'll be with you on the next clip. Okay, so the next step is once you've got that crossover removed, uh, I would suggest that you go to some place like Harbor Freight, unless you've got an actual 90 degree drill, but that might even be kind of difficult to get in here. But I've got one of these cheapy things and they're about 25 bucks at Harbor Freight. It attaches to your drill. Hopefully you can see all that. But um, what you're going to do is, well, I got jammed up there, it's tight. Um, get that down in there, in that hole, and you're going to angle it to the inside where the tip of the bit is going towards the driver's side, assuming you choose this hole, and you're going to drill a little bit at a time. Uh, so you're going to drill and then remove the bit, and you're going to have some compressed air standing by. Let me get that hooked up. Also, you're gonna you see the rag that's in the hole. You want to stuff that rag. Uh, I mean, stuff that hole with a rag, and then drill a little bit like I just showed you, and blow that hole out. Like that. Um, so blow that hole out, and then drill some more. Keep blowing, and then blow it out again and drill some more and then just keep going through that process and if you, you're, what you're trying to do is get all that the metal shavings out of that hole before you break through for that final time and when you're when you feel like you're just about to break through go ahead and clean it out one more time real well and then just punch through that last little couple thousandths of an inch and you, you can kind of feel that if you have some experience with a drill um, hopefully you can hear me over that air compressor. There we go. So I was trying to talk a little louder, so hopefully you could hear me, but hopefully I wasn't screaming at you. Um, so anyway, just continue that process. Uh, drill, clean it out with the compressor. Let me turn that thing off too. Okay, so drill and clean it out, drill, clean it out. And when, again, when you feel like you're about to break through, clean it out one last time real good, and then just barely break through with what metal's left there and uh, anything that happened to possibly go through is going to be so small that that engine is never even going to know it. Um, so clean it out, then you've got the rag in there, blow off the rag before you pull it out. And I've got a microfiber rag here, it tends to catch shavings and stuff and hold them a little better. Um, then what you're going to do is put the crossover, I'm not putting the gaskets on it for right now, I'm just showing you. And I've got one of my harnesses got in the way. Make sure that harness is out of the way. I've actually got a harness that I've got to go and uh, get it out from that manifold, but I'm just going to show you how it goes. So when you get that crossover back in position, and then you've got the turbo boost bolts laying here, you're going to put that in the hole and just thread it down. I won't bore you with watching me thread that all the way down, but it's, it's actually in the hole and threading down there real nice. Then what you can do is take 
your fittings that come with the hose kit. Uh, it's a hose kit for gauges, so your gauge may have come with a hose kit. If it did, these those fittings that came with the kit will screw right into the top of this bolt, and you just route that into the cab wherever you're going to put your gauge. Uh, you can, if there's enough room here, if you put an electronic sending unit on here, you can do that too. It's really not necessary with boost, but if you were doing fuel, you know, you might want to do that. Or I do sell an isolator that's also on my website, and it prevents fuel from entering the cab. But uh, again, so that's kind of the process here. It was real simple. Probably literally took me a total of 15 minutes, and uh, I was able to do it from the engine side even though it is easier if you have the doghouse off. Um, and the purpose of this boost bolt is obviously to check what your boost is, what your, what your turbo is putting out for boost, but um, this is just kind of an inexpensive way to do that. And you could run a scan gauge if your truck is equipped with OBD2, but trucks that were prior to OBD2 or maybe you've retrofitted a Humvee with a center mount turbo or whatever the case is. If you've got a center mount turbo and just want to run a mechanical gauge, this will allow you to do that. Um, can't really think of anything else to tell you guys, but I hope that was informative and I hope uh, you learned something. If you need this product, go to LeroyDiesel.com. Have a good day.